All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, Matt Day with CLA. Uh, we're going over half field slides again, but this time we're going over uh, crease concepts versus what we call skinny here at CLA. Uh, in our last video, um, which would be our crease versus midfield and alley. Make sure you watch that one first because I go over a lot of the setup. Uh, this is a continuation of that video where we're going to focus primarily on the skinny, which is uh, against wing dodgers. So all of our setup stays the same. All of our uh, points of emphasis stay the same. Now we're just going to focus on dodgers at that midline that we talked about in terms of upper and lower. Now we're talking about wing dodgers, right? So number one, setup wise, I would have two lines on each one of the wings of either ball carriers, if you have those, if you want to work this as a team, middies and attack can go here. Uh, just because they're used to handling the ball and that's what they do. Or you can have defensive players dummy those and, and, and uh, mimic them without a ball or with. Point of emphasis would be taking away the top side, the strong hand. And we call it skinny or squeeze. We want to imagine that this, this pipe right here has an imaginary wall like this. And our job defensively is to almost squeeze that ball carrier in between if this is a brick wall and that ball carrier wants to go in this direction, he's squeezing tight to that pipe, but we're not allowing him to dip back inside. Skinny is another term, kind of verbal cue to give you something like that, where you have these guys imagine like a very skinny wall, and that's what they're going to force that ball carrier down. Either way, it's fine, or if you have something that you like to use at your program, uh, let us know. The top side to me is usually not enough because Top side, you can still take away that hand, but give them a free run at the cage. So you want to really coach them to stay on that back hip and give them a verbal cue, skinny, squeeze, or whatever you guys may have um, to get them down that pipe. So very, very uh, quickly, just want to reiterate, we're looking for groups of three, getting 30 to 45 second reps at a time. Okay, so in this situation, we want to slide and fire to every single dodge, right? Just like in the last video, a lot of these dodges are not going to need a slide coach your guys on, hey, for the sake of the drill, just fire to everything. This is a recovery drill. This is a lot of reps within a short amount of time, and you're not going to do that if we're hesitant to go, right? I'm not saying that as a team defense, you should slide to everything, but if we have to, we should be able to, and that's good. that second half is kind of what this drill is for, whereas I have another drill for you guys um, that's a progression of this, which is um, slide recognition. Do I need to go early, slow, or not at all? Um, but for right now, slide to everything as a team. So D1 is going to take away the top side and force him what's called skinny. We are not going to allow him to go to his right hand in this case. We're going to take him down the pipe this way. Okay, we're going to hedge with our one and our two is going to meet in. So as we fire, D2 is going to meet this ball carrier about right here. And this D1 who is on ball is now going to Rico, okay? At this point, I love to have them pretend to throw the ball through X, or if you're using middies and, and attackmen, actually have them throw it um, to simulate the ball cycling, which is our term for the ball working through X. So it goes here, and then it's gonna work to the backside, okay? So D3 would be in, and as D1 recovers, we would work our bump call which would be D1 goes crease as the ball hits X. And as the ball works back out, D3 has to be able to get here and fly back out like this. And again, forcing the skinny on that left-handed dodger now. So D1 ends up here. D3 ends up on ball, but shading up the field and forcing skinny and D2, who is our original slider, is somewhere in this area. His ball carrier has already moved it through X or he's recovered to the back of the line. And now he's in a situation <coughs> where he is going to now be the two for D1. So remember, D1 was our original ball carrier to this side of the field. He's gone from a situation where he's on ball to recovering. And now he has to pivot around the cone and he wants to be on the same side of the field as the dodger is, so he wants to push over. D2 went from sliding, the ball refacilitates, so he should be getting back in as it cycles, and now he's our two 
to this side of the field. So same thing, ball's here now, force the skinny, D1 goes, D3 recovers, D2 holds the cone as the ball cycles and he pulls D3 in and then we bump D2 back out to the perimeter. So you'll see it's like a swinging pendulum where we're sliding to this, move it, recovering, sliding to this. And you can kind of help you guys visualize, hey, you know, maybe a success looks like, maybe not, maybe it's not time at first. Maybe that's, you guys can move on to the time requirement when you've done five of these correctly in a row at 25%, right? You can put a percent limit on it and say, hey, I want you guys to go 50% speed. You can do it by time. Hey, we want to see how many successful slide recoveries you can get in 30 seconds. And maybe they do 10, but six were only good. Maybe you move on when they can do 10 out of 10. But before that, as a little regression, you can say, we're going to do this at 25%. And I want to get you guys to a, a spot where we're doing this full speed, which is ideal. Um, but before we do that, if you can't hit five correctly in a row, where we don't miss a recovery, a slide, or a communication at 25%, then we're not going to move on to it. So... Half field slides, to me, incredible fundamental drill for team defense, as you can see. Um, you can add another crease in there to make mimic a one for one which I'll show you guys really quickly. Again, I would just put two cones down here. I'm gonna start us on this side with the ball carrier. So D3's out. You've got D4 now, who's responsible for him. And then you've got your D1 and two inside. Same principle, we would force the skinny, we would fire from our one, we would bump over to the near crease with our D2 and pull, excuse me, that's a two, and pull our three all the way into this cone. For recover wise, you can do one of two things. As D3 recovers, you can get him to come to D2 and D2 comes back out to the far away cone, D4 works which is probably the most realistic situation, you can mix it up and say, D2 is gonna lock here, and we recover to the backside cone, and push D4. Probably hard to conceptualize why you would wanna do that, um, but if you're one of those coaches that likes to pride themselves on chaos, different situations, making them think it's a funny wrinkle you could throw in, I would recommend, simplest thing, executed very well. Bring D3 to D2, who's on the ball side cone, D4 is in on the backside cone. He pushes D2 back over, and then D4 flies back out as the ball is cycling through X and working back out here. D4 would be on ball. So let's draw that out for you guys so you can see the transition. Balls move from here to here. D4 flies back out. Again, everything goes skinny from the wings. Now you've got a D2 who was originally holding the ball side crease, but now he's ball side. D3 has recovered, and he's back in. D1 slid to the ball originally. So now we're hot from D2. We're two from D3. And D1's got to be in, and we slide and recover, peeling D4 back to the crease, making sure he finds either the ball side crease and we bump out. Um, or we might tell them to go away in certain situations. So to kind of sum up half field slides again, <clears throat> crease first the skinny, you can add this with a single crease, you can add a double crease in there. Um, but again, lots of reps over 30 seconds. Again, if they can't handle it at 100% speed yet, take the time restraint out and say, all right, I wanna see you do it five times in a row correctly at 25, at 50%. And you can build over these over a couple of practices but this is a drill that CLA and TC Elite hits every single day at our positional trainings and team practices. So just wanted to share that, guys. And uh, hopefully you find that useful. Lots of slides and definitely can replace your, uh, your team defensive time. You know, it's kind of hard to come by, especially in the fall season. So if you don't have time for positional to do 30 minutes and you only have a 10-minute window, you could pick midfield or skinny or drive and turn um, and do that for 10 minutes to get as many as you can. So... Great drill, time restraints, good for conditioning, communications, everything that requires for defense. So um, give that a like. Give us some comments if you have any questions. Uh, this is an extension of our half field slides. Our final uh, video in the series will be against drive and turn, uh, and it'll be set up similarly, so I'll show you guys how to do that shortly.